Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today I wanted to do a full face of first impressions. All of these are going to be drugstore products, which means they are cheap and they're easy, accessible. There's a few items that I don't have that are first impressions, so it's almost a full face, but there is also two items in here that isn't first impressions. I have tried these before, but it's been a long time since I've used them. So other than that, all the rest are first time. If you want to see the products I used and how I feel about them, then let's get right on to the video. Okay, so I washed my face and all I put on was moisturizer. I am going to start off with the Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. It says it's supposed to be matte, of course, prep, smoothing and blur. Smooth and refines canvas, mattifying primer. Stop shine and blurs and perfections for a matte finish. Okay, so let's see, let's, 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 let's. Ooh, I like that little. Okay. <coughs> okay, it comes out like a, like lotion almost. So let's see. this because I've seen it all over YouTube the LA girl pro coverage foundation HD long wear illuminating foundation okay I'm super excited about this I got it in light oh fair I guess this was the lightest shade that they had according to the website and Amazon it is kind of warm toned for me Am I supposed to shake it because it's kind of watery? <clears throat> I'm just gonna dot it all over my face. Don't mind me, I have like a mirror, um, a handheld one. It's definitely a little. Aww. He just woke up from a nap. Okay, so. It's definitely too warm for my skin, but let's see if I can blend it out and see what it does. It's kind of watery, honestly. It's a nice coverage for sure, but I don't understand. Everybody says that it's like full, full coverage and I still see stuff through. You can see my freckles right through it and the pimple that I have on my chin. <laughs> yeah, this is not my color, it's so orange. It's like really bad, I don't think I can even like fix it. Does it look orange on my screen, on the camera? <laughs> Does it? It's so orange. Oh my gosh. That's bad. There's no way of me fixing this. Jesus. It's not that full coverage. Huh. This is bad. Oh my god, the color is so bad. I guess I can mix it with other lighter foundations because I have like some that are too pale for me I guess it'll be a good but I can't wear this on its own that's no good like you could see everything underneath it almost it's like a medium coverage 
Huh. That makes me mad. Uh, I wanted that full coverage. I'm gonna put a little bit of my Milani Conceal and Perfect on over it because I can't handle this color. It's horrible. It looks like I got the worst friggin' spray tan. Look at the difference. Oh my god. Uh uh. So bad. That's my natural. This color is more my natural color. It's a little bit light for me, but. Oh my god. That's like depressing. And the fact that it's not as full coverage. I wasted money. It's like watery. I do not have a first impressions for concealer, so I'm just gonna go and grab the one that I usually use. Revlon Photo Ready. excited for this one but I also think I got the wrong color I kind of wanted to go for translucent but um, I got the Cody airspun powder which is also all over YouTube kind of late on the bandwagon but do I care no better late than never I guess um, I got it in honey beige it's kind of pink so I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about it you get a lot in here like a lot, a lot, a lot, 2.3 ounces. That's definitely more than the average tran like translucent powder that I usually get. This tiny little guy, I'm, I usually use the e.l.f. one. I don't even know how much is in here, but definitely the comparison is no match. Um, okay, so I guess let's see. I put some in the top of the lid. I'm gonna bake. My under eyes. Okay, there's that. I mean, it's the the honey beige just doesn't even like. There. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to just bake any parts of my skin that usually get oiled up fast or like makeup moves around too fast. Oh my gosh, I love it. My smile lines. And my nose. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. Good boy. Okay. Take this off. Okay, so, what? Okay, so what do we do next though? What do we do next? What do we do next? What do we do next? Yeah, it's definitely pink, but. I guess we'll see when it swipes away any accent.
eyebrow. <clears throat> I have used this before. It's just been a long time. So this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the color brunette, I believe. Yeah, brunette. Precious Petals. I have been waiting to try this. I am so excited for this. If I can open it. Okay. Maya. Maya. Okay, so I'm excited about this. It's such a small, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm just gonna get up and show you the swatch of this. Ugh, that is so pretty. It's a champagne-y like rose gold, I guess. Can't even see it, oh my gosh cheeks i'm gonna use the nyx matte finish setting spray on a brush this is a new setting spray as well i've never used it before and i'm gonna go in on this highlight i am so excited <gasps> i am so excited about this oh my god okay <gasps> I literally have never had a highlight like this before. Oh my gosh. I've always seen it in reviews. Always. But, like, wow. It is no joke. I don't even know why I put it in the middle. I just want to highlight everywhere. Okay. I'll die if this is not showing up on camera though. It's too pretty to not see. <gasps> I love it. Yes. Yes. So as for the eyes, I have this happy birthday palette that um, Ulta gave me as like a free birthday gift from NYX. It's a beautiful palette. I'm so obsessed with the colors.
this on the lid right here and this on my lash line bottom lash line and on the crease whoa that all just fell out that's cool okay this is the wet n wild mega last black liner so i'm just gonna put that in my waterline and there's no color payoff that's good okay it's just scratching my waterline there's no color payoff coming from this friggin thing it's just stabbing me okay guess i'm not using that one i'm using the physician's formula one i guess that one has some color That's better. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline New York Master Precise Liner, Liquid Liner, Felt Tip. This I have used before. I like it, I haven't, I just, it's been like a long time. I know I used to like it, but I don't know if they changed up the formula or anything, but. So I finished off the look with the rest of the wings liner. Um, and the Lash Paradise, L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I didn't put any eyelashes on because I suck at them. So I just left those out. But I did two coats of these. I don't know if you can see them very well, but but I like it a lot. Then I finished off the look by setting my face with the NYX Professional Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. And this smelt chemically. Um, I didn't like the smell of it, but I guess I can get over it because you don't smell it while it's on your face, of course. But I don't know, I didn't really like the smell of it too much. So that kind of, I don't know if that's a drawback, but uh, maybe for some people it is. Overall, I didn't really like the LA Girl Foundation Pro Coverage one. Apparently everybody loves that, but I wasn't a huge fan of it, honestly. I don't care if I get any like hate for that, but it was too liquidy and it didn't like dry down much until it was set, I guess, obviously. But I didn't really like it. The primer, I liked the primer a lot. The way it just sat on my skin just felt really nice and natural. The highlighter was probably my favorite thing out of all of these products. Hands down, I'm obsessed. I don't know if you can see it, but the camera never does any justice on my camera at least because I don't have studio lighting. I just have one ring light. So yeah, I do like the, the mascara. The powder, the Cody Airspun powder, I do love, absolutely. It lightens all the areas that I don't ever get to, because translucent powder doesn't really ever do anything much for me. But I guess I'm happy with this. I wanted to get the translucent extra coverage one, but I'm, I'm so satisfied with that. The NYX Happy Birthday Palette, I am obsessed with the colors. I use the purple right here, and this, it's like a dark chocolate brown almost. And I used a little bit of this champagne color and this matte, like nude color for my brow bone. But yeah, that's that. I don't know if I'm missing anything else. The, the eyeliner I loved. It kind of made my eyes burn a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. Oh, and the Wet n Wild friggin' liner just scratched the crap out of my waterline. So that's just crap and I don't think I'm ever gonna be, I'm not gonna even be able to use it. So I hate that. Okay, yep, yeah, I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video.